We're on the search for a, a big stone carved head, you know, a bit like the uh, Easter Island heads. Got to go find that. Um, we're going to go camp up at a place that's a bit like Brimham Rocks, like a mini Brimham Rocks. So we're going to go find that as well up on top of Moors. We've got this tent to test out. Hopefully we'll get some wind and we've got a new backpack as well. It was a, a market play, play steel, hey up. She's at it already, look. I'm not gonna squeeze through that, am I? Hey. Check that out. Old fat boy Slim getting through there. Go on, Fendi, you'll go through there. Go on. I'm gonna have to go up and over. <laughs> Hey up. Look at it, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's go find this head. Crazy how these these old farmhouses and whatnot all just dotted about derelict up on hillside. I mean look at that for a view. Stunning isn't it? People are killed for this now. Well, we might actually get a sunset tonight. See if I get a wiggle on anyway. <laughs> Come through here. <laughs> you only got stuck then, didn't you, kid? Oh, so, so, so have I. Oh. Well, I think I'm near this uh, this rock. I hope she's still at it, look. Give up, you little dust ball. Well, I'm glad she's doing it there. I'm not in that. Don't be walking through that, mate. Here, yeah. this way. But she's dying for a drink because she's been scatting about everywhere like she does. Hope I can make it back for the sunset up top. It's going to look epic, I think, over these valleys. Come on. I think we have to go up that way. No, that's not right good, is it? Maybe Hazy needs to get up here with his latch and locks. Just had a quick look at maps and it's up. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, we've been gradually coming down for ages. So we come up from up behind there and we've come along and along this path and along down there. So now we've got to get up up here. Oh, it just look gorgeous, doesn't it? I know I keep showing it you, but you're probably sick of view by now, aren't you? I've seen it once already, I don't need to see it again. <laughs> right, let's crack on. We can see Studley Pike now, up on hill. I don't know if you can see it through this camera, but look, different view now. <laughs> I love it how all the shadows and that cast over over the hills yeah we're here at it now the stone head a bit weird how they'd have him facing up that way you'd think they'd have him facing that way wouldn't you eh? all right dum dum you want some gum gum you give me gum gum
See ya. <laughs> yeah, lad. Look at that. That's good, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Grace's honesty box. That's in it. All bottled water in that. If I had a if I had a squid on me, I'd sort you out. I'll have to bring some squids up with me next time I come up here. Come on, mate. Oh, look at this hill we've got to get up now. What do you think to that, mate? Eh? <laughs> eh. See those, that wind farm in background? That's where I was over week. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here. But now we're off up here. Come on, mate. <clears throat> Let's get you over. Go on, your little briefcase. <laughs> oh, there's sheep in this field, mate. Come here. Let me put you on. All right, I'm going to have to put her on lead. Not that she chases after him or all, but you've got to be responsible. Well, definitely got dab on now, but we're almost there. We'll get up to Trig Point, have a look at some views, and then try and figure out somewhere to camp, somewhere where we hopefully get a sunset and a sunrise, but we'll see. Look at this stuff. Apparently it's called Kinder Kinder Gritstone. So it's the same sort of shizzle that you see in Peak District. Look at this one here, look. Been carved out millions of years of erosion. Look at this. Ready for bopping that, isn't it? Look. Eh? Look at that bad boy. Anyway. Let's find that trig. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Can't find it. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> Still a bit to go yet. Yeah. What's up mate, you stuck? Go around there. No, she's gonna go down and then try climb up. Oh, you've made it. Here we are at the trig point. I'm not going to touch it, just to annoy people, that's all. <laughs> but look, you want to have a look around? Studley Pike over there, in distance. Windmills over there where I last camped. That's just moors for miles. Look at that though. That looks stunning this over here. I don't know if you can see it through camera because the sun's going straight into it. That looks gorgeous that. Looks like Captain Bullshit's been here. Company, if you give me one million, I can guarantee you you will make an extra million right. by the year. I will double I will Double, I hear you. I hear you. I double your investment in one year. What? Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Need to find somewhere to camp now. It's all pretty fat. Flat, should I say. I'm, I'm the one who's pretty fat. <laughs> but it's all heather. I'm not a fan of pitching up on heather because it can sometimes pierce through tent. So, we've got sunset over there. Should get a sunrise over yonder. Hey, up, we've got a dude here. Didn't know he <laughs> Probably thinks, what's this knobhead doing talking to his camera? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like this ever stuff, do you? Don't know what that thing is over there. I'll, uh, I'll get it up on maps and then see if you guys can tell me what it is. Looks weird, like a bit of a beacon type thing. Will you stop practicing being a slug? You've already got a part, mate. Come on, come here.
just come down here to find a sneaky little place to have a brew. Just come down this little path thing. Fendi thought we were going down there. <laughs> now she's stuck and she can't get back up. <laughs> come on, mate. Jump. <laughs> come on. <laughs> she's an idiot, isn't she? show you what I'm looking at. That's the moon there just rising up there. Don't know if you can see much. I can with naked eye but it's a nice little spot this. It's a bit of a, <laughs> a wind tunnel though. <laughs> As you can see by my brew machine. What's that uh, cheap six quid one that? It's a, it's a Soto Windmaster copy. Although it's picture perfect down there it's bloody cold in that wind. <laughs> it's proper whipping through. All twinkly lights starting to start up now, look. Wind's picking up and all, which is good. It's what I wanted to give this this uh, Taji, not Taji, the Zeng 2, 2 tent a bit of a run out in the wind. It looks like a stingray, doesn't it? Eh? <laughs> stingray, stingray, diddle it, did it. Right, I'm gonna get in tent now and I'm gonna make some uh, make some grub. Chicken curry, eh? Huh? Adventure food. Didn't enjoy the pasta bolognese last time, so we'll see what this one's like. There's only a little bit of gas left in, so let's hope it, I've got enough for something to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> Took some nice roads getting here, winding all through up on top of hillside and stuff. I love those little country roads, them little single track roads. And then we came down into Ebden Bridge, which is a quirky little town to say the least. <laughs> Makes me giggle and smile every time I come through it. It's just full of, you'd think that you'd step back into in time, into 1960s in uh, California. That's what it's like. For lack of a better word, it's full of hippies. And apparently, it's the lesbian capital of Britain. <laughs> so, if you're a lesbian and you're looking for a partner, get your send out of Ebden Bridge. <laughs> there we go. Let's get this chicken curry on go here, mate. You've already had yours, so keep your eyes off. <laughs> I need to see if I can find the... Uh, Oxygen absorber. Well, a bit of silly couldn't never hurt anyone, did it? Or did it? 350 millilitres of water going in. And we'll leave it for eight minutes. It smells mildly like curry. It's not even cooked. Must be dehydrated because it's crap. Anyway, that's the night from us. Well, good morning. Got a bit windy last night. It also rained a bit as well last night. The mat was comfy again last night. Um, all right there, mate. Mm. 
Yeah, it was comfy. But uh, I've got enough mats as it is, so I'll probably give this away on channel. Um, Unigear actually sent me out a winter sleeping bag with this mat as well. So I'll probably give them away on channel, both of them. I'll do a video on the mat and the sleeping bag first, so you can have a look at that, see if you want to enter. Beautiful sunrise, eh? <laughs> Ain't missed much. It didn't budge last night, it went. Um, so that's a good thing. It didn't move at all. It didn't flap her out. I got it pegged out and guyed out, I think. Spot on, so. Yeah, happy with tent. Forgot to mention. Um, paranormal team got in touch with me about the campsite where I've had a bit of noises and whatnot and uh, they want to do a um, investigation there so they've invited me to go along with them don't know if I'm gonna go with them yet it's tonight and uh, I'm supposed to piss it down all night so maybe I'll do it maybe I won't but you'll have to stay tuned for that that's where we were look this little patch here, leave no trace as usual, Everyone, everything's packed up, everyone, <laughs> everything's packed up, ready to go, Fendi's over there somewhere, she's trying to get her waterproof jacket off her back, there she is look, been trying to rub this off all morning haven't you? <laughs> Right, that's it from us anyway. Thanks for watching.